Hello and welcome to today's quick tip screencast. I'm going to demonstrate how using jQuery you can build something like a color switcher. So you can see here I mouse over and the headings change. You can imagine this for uh, changing style sheets or even something as simple as in this case as changing the header. I'm going to show you how to build that. Uh, just because I don't have much time, I've created the initial markup. It's just a header and some headings and paragraphs here. The only thing worth noting is I have created a container for all of those color selections. So let's begin. First I'm going to import jQuery 1.4 and then we're going to uh, open script tags and get started. I'm going to first start by creating a uh, list of options. So we'll do color options and I just don't have much time at all. So I'm just going to do the shortcut here, but split and that'll turn those into an array. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is color divs. I'm going to go over this shortly. It's just mostly a, uh, an array that will contain uh, each of the divs that we create. And then finally, colors container is going to be equal to the colors container div that is created right up here. And it's just a reference to it so we don't have to traverse the DOM every time we want to access it. Next, I'm going to uh, run a for statement. Var, var i equals zero and length equals color options dot length and as long as i is less than length i plus plus uh, this way it's much more dynamic because it doesn't matter how many options we we add it'll automatically create a div even if we have three or six so i'm going to create something called uh, div is fine i guess and we're going to create an empty div and we're just going to set the background to uh, color options dot i and that'll reference black then blue then orange for each uh, a cycle through the for statement and finally I don't want it returned as an object because we're going to be adding it to an array so I'm going to use zero just to uh, get that first item there and then finally we're going to do color divs that empty array that we created earlier and I'm just going to push or add a new item to that array next what I want to do is append it all to um, dot append append it all to the uh, the page that way we don't have to change the DOM structure every single time. This way we only do it one time. And then finally, let's do a header. And when you hover over it, we're going to run a function to display those colors. And then when we hover off, we're going to get rid of them. So when you hover over, we're going to do colors container, that div that we created, dot fade in over the course of 200 milliseconds. Because I have set the display to none within the style sheet and dot children, and we're going to get those each of those color divs. And when those are hovered over, I'm going to run a function. And all we're going to do is get the H2. This is where you could change the style sheet. But in this case, all I'm going to do is change the heading colors to this.css background color, which will reference these items within our array. Okay. And then finally, when we mouse off of the uh, container element, we're going to fade it out over the course of 200 milliseconds. If I refresh the page, and we have one error. Let's check that out real quick. Missing uh, closing parentheses after our for statement. Um, there we go. Let's make that a comma and refresh the page. And now if I hover over it, you can see blue, orange, red, orange, and it looks like it doubled up. But that's pretty much how you do it. So I had to be very quick, but let me know if you have any questions, and we'll discuss it more in the comments. Thanks. Bye.